Here it is. Whoa. Bad love song, satellite radio. Just under the surface, our province is full of delicious hidden gems. Dives that, given the chance, will make your day delicious. I'm Jorge Requena, and I love Manitoba. I love its unique and underappreciated eateries because they make me feel like a tourist at home. I'm Joanna Braun, a city mom who hasn't had a chance to get out and explore my home province, and I'm ready to give it a try. And the best way to do that is to eat at the places you normally would not. And all in one afternoon. Let's take the dive. Bad Love Song Satellite Radio. For many years, if you had asked me what I was going to buy first if I won the lottery, I would have said pizza. This versatile Italian dish has come and gone around the world. And it has changed time and time again. Winnipeg has some excellent places for pizza. And today, I'm going to teach you a couple of simple tricks to help you find new places for pizza that you love. The first trick is easy. Find a down-to-earth community staple. Find a place where the people that invented the dish, pizza, gather to eat. My pick is Calabria Market, a well-storied place with almost four decades of history. And it's a real market, which means fresh, legit ingredients. Welcome to Calabria Pizza and Market. Ooh, fresh bread? Yep. And let's see, oh, lots of wine. Lots of wine. Yeah. It's almost a little bit of overwhelming. Vegan Look at turkey. all these conserves, you know, yeah. traditional Italian brands. They have a whole section of olive oils, Ooh. right? All of these different sauces for your Italian food. Antipestos. They're really well set up. And if you come over here, okay. Every uh. ingredient you can possibly <laughs> desire for your pizza. Hi uh, there. Hi. Welcome to Calabria. What can we get you today? We're here for pizza. Yes. What would you recommend? Well, the first question I'm going to ask you is, do you like spicy? I love spicy. Yeah. We have a great uh, Calabria-style pizza with hot, spicy capicolo. That would be nice. Ooh, that's good I for love you. that. I'll have that. That's yeah. Great. That. So I'm not a huge fan of spicy, so maybe we could do pizza half and half. Absolutely. Yeah? OK. Oh, wow. Go. This pizza tower is a strong oh, sign of quality. It smells good. It's really good cheese. I can smell it. <laughs> okay, so you were saying you think Joanna should have a I think, spicy, I think, spicy. I think Joanna should take the dive and actually try a little bit of spicy today. I oh. agree with that. <laughs> you guys are teaming up here. <laughs> okay, okay. Joanna, it's time for you to have a, spice, a well, spicy bite. Uh, uh, a slice for a slice? Sure. Yeah. You don't look like you're steaming, so no. it's not that hot, right? Maybe give me a minute. Does it set in? <laughs> mm. Okay, this I'm gonna. This is a lot of meat. I'm gonna have a bite of the deluxe. Green peppers. Oh wow. Um, mm. Got a sausage. Mm -hmm. mm. Mushrooms. I had a hard time not fitting the whole thing in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> because it's so good. I just wanted to keep biting and biting and biting. Wow. That is really good pizza. You know what's interesting is that this is a classic pie, right? Uh, they, this is what kind of the, the thing that they do here is they do classic pies yeah. very well. High quality ingredients. Oh, yeah. All of the ingredients are fresh, right? They cut, they slice the ham the, the second before they put it in the right. pizza. They cut the vegetables the second they put it in, before, in the pizza. And they're making before. their own sausage, And you they're said. making their own sausage, yeah. right? So there's a lot of homemade value to this pizza. Mm. Trick number two. If you can find a place with no glitz or glam, but tons of tradition, you may have just found a classic. Because pizza is so versatile, it has a way to change quick and forward trends. But there is a place in Winnipeg that has been making the same recipe since 1972. It is rumored to be the first pizza place in Manitoba, and let me tell you, it's got street cred. Welcome to the home of the master of pizza, Tony's. Thank you. Hello. Hello. How are you today? Great. Yes. What do you think we should eat? Tony's special is our most popular pizza. 
Uh, one of the, another popular pizza would be the carnivore. Uh, How many meats is on the six carnivore? Six. Wow. That's a lot of meat. It's a heavy yeah. pizza. You've got to be yeah. ready to eat there. Uh, if you're looking for something vegetarian, it would be the Zorba or the Garden would be the top two. Okay. Yeah. yeah but Tony's Special is by far the most popular pizza. You're still making the original recipe? Yes. We're as close as we can to the original recipe. We, are, we try to keep it. The original ingredients on the special are the same, and then the, okay. we just try to maintain the, and the crust is as close as we can get it. That's uh, fantastic. Okay, so we're going to order the Tony Special. Okay, yeah. that's a great idea. The Tony Special is a classic deluxe pie with pepperoni, green peppers, mushrooms, ham, sausage, and mozzarella. The secret here is how thick the meats are sliced, and of course, Tony's original secret crust recipe. All right, here I go, Joanna. I think you might need two hands for that. There you go. Mm. Two mouths. <laughs> mm. So good. What just happened? <laughs> it is very, very good. So cheesy. Mm -hmm. So incredibly cheesy. It looks it. Wow. Mm. Oh, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's flavor explosion right there. So Tony's original recipe. Wow, well that's a good recipe. What Jamie was saying is that the secret to this pizza mm -hmm. is the crust and the sauce. Yes, original Those are the recipes. original cr crust and sauce from yeah, Tony, right. right? And so that's what makes the pizza good. That's the base of the pizza. Yeah. That's very important. Okay, so we've discovered two incredible Italian style places, each with their own flavor. But now it is time for me to reveal my most important trick in finding pizza bliss. Are you ready? Find something completely different. Step out of your comfort zone. For this, I'm taking you back to my neighborhood where an East Indian family decided to do exactly what other immigrants were doing and started making pizzas with their own ingredients, creating new staples like the Baker's Pride and one of Winnipeg's coolest dishes, the butter chicken pizza. We'll take one Baker's Pride. Okay. They only have it here. Oh, okay. It's the po most popular pizza. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, good choice then. Right. And we'll also have the butter chicken pizza. No! That's right, they have it. They only have Woo! it here. This pizzeria is right downtown. It's very small and they only do take up. So we're eating our pizza in the car. The butter chicken pizza. Oh, that smells so good. Right? You take a small piece, okay, yeah. Well, but it has butter chicken at the front. No, no, bite. It's, a, it's a corner piece. I like it. <laughs> awesome. Mm. Okay, it's a little bit spicy. <laughs> but I'm gonna get over that because that butter chicken is legit. It's spicy, but there's so many different flavors going on from the ooey gooey cheese. That butter chicken though is butter chicken that you would get at any legit East Indian restaurant for sure. So it tastes very authentic. I know that you are going to be afraid to eat this one because it's probably spicy. Mm. Oh, wow. It is pretty spicy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, and there's chili seeds, chili flakes. I really can't recognize all the spices. See, what happens with this pizza mm -hmm. is that they use the hot spices, which they don't tell you what it is, okay. which is actually um, like a cool sort of Middle Eastern tradition of head spicing and it's East Indian tradition of head spicing. Which what does that mean? What's you go to a, to a place that is a spicer. Okay. They actually make spices. Yeah. Right? They sell spices. And the house of the spicer will have a specific mix of spices that they make. This is sort of a head spice pizza. So it's a traditional deluxe pizza with sausage and pepperoni and ham and green peppers. And bacon. And, <laughs> and bacon. But it has this very nuanced, so much information. Mm. Okay, Joanna, so today, yeah. three places. Yum. We went to Calabria Market. That's right. That was our first stop. Yeah. It was like an artisanal pizza. It was beautiful and the toppings were loaded up. I couldn't believe how much meat was on that pizza. I would go back there, not only for the pizza, but to shop as well. And then we went to Tony's Master of Pizza. Which I love that slogan, Master Pizza, because that isn't an idle boast. That pizza, 
top notch. It's another example of like really great Italian pizza. Mm -hmm. um, Tony, another Italian immigrant that came here and opened up his own pizza place. It's been named one of the top three pizza places in, in Winnipeg. Wow. Uh, repeatedly, right? So it's like an excellent place. And then we came to Jumbo's Pizza, mm -hmm. which is amazing. I was drawn in by the smell. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and you go in there and you you really feel like you're in a kitchen. Yes. Right? Yeah. It smells like a thousand spices. Mm. It, I feel like it's such a Canadiana pizza because it's, mm. it's about the story of immigration that is encoded in your pie. Right, right. right. Which is beautiful. Yeah. And also very heartwarming. Well, let's have another slice. Yes, And please. we'll have another adventure next week. Love it. So good. Pizza cheers. Pizza cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Every city is full of beautiful hidden gems, amazing places that, unbeknownst to you, are perfect. So get out there and eat, lunch yourself, and take the dive. Let us know what you think on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at Take the Dive TV.